how to find the sum of an arithmetic sequence. First of all, let's start by defining an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers that goes up or down by the same amount each time. Algebraically, we can write it like this. If we've got a first term a, our second term would be a plus d, where d is the difference, the increase or decrease in the numbers. The third term would be a plus 2d, then a plus 3d, and so on. Now, if you look at this sequence, you can see the number of d's is always one less than its place in the sequence. So the nth term would always be a plus n minus 1, lots of d. So if we were going to sum the first n terms, it would look like this. We'd have a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d all the way up to a plus n minus 1d. But that would take a long time, so we're going to see if we can create a shorter formula for working this out. Let's start by writing out all of the terms, a all the way up to a plus n minus 1d. Underneath this, we're going to write out the same terms, but in reverse. And look at what happens if we add each pair of terms together. Each one will give us an answer of 2a plus n minus 1d. And obviously we've got this n times. So if we multiply them together, we get n lots of 2a plus n minus 1d. But our original sequence, we've used that twice here, so to get the actual result, we're going to half it. So let's use our formula on some real examples here. Suppose we've got the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. It's arithmetic because it's going up by the same amount, 3, each time. And we're going to sum to 10 terms. So n is 10, that's how many terms we've got. A, the first term, is 4, and D, the difference, is 3. So, putting them into our formula, we get a sum of 175. Let's try another example. 16, 11, 6, 1, minus 4. So this time our sequence is decreasing, but it's still arithmetic because the difference is the same each time. So if we wanted to find the sum of the first 15 terms of this sequence, n is 15, a is 16, d, the difference this time is negative 5 because it's going down, so we put them into our formula and we get an answer of negative 285.